Hey guys, we've just finished off this Land Cruiser build for David and Karina. It's got a Norwell tray and canopy, a J-Max coil conversion, ARB bar work, a full interior fit out and much more. Let's check it out and see some of the modifications. So the foundation for this build was the J-Max 4200 GVM with coil converted rear end. We convert the rear to coils, we've got a track corrected diff housing, front and rear suspension with a 2 inch lift, it's got a torque stainless exhaust system, a heavy duty NPC clutch, brake upgrades and the J-Max Alpha shocks. Next up we fitted the bar work which was the ARB matte black large tube deluxe bar, some Ultravision spotties, a worn winch, the ARB bash plate and recovery point, a GME UHF aerial, we've got the summit side rails and steps, we've got the Safari 4 inch RMAX snorkel and we've got a set of electric clear view mirrors. Up on the roof we've fitted the Rhino Pioneer platform, we've got a solar panel mounted up there and some Bushranger work lights. We've got another roof rack up on top of the Norwell, so let's go and check out that tray and canopy package. So we've got the Norwell tray and canopy package. The canopy and toolbox doors are being colour coded white, which looks fantastic. We've got four under tray toolboxes, giving us plenty of storage, and the flared mud guards for the J-Max track corrected diff housing. On the driver's side, we've got plenty of open storage for those bigger items. We've got some um, LED lighting and a couple of power outlets up the front. Moving around the back, we've got uh, twin spare wheel carriers. We've got the ladder and we've also got the pull-out rear drawer for some additional storage. Up the front underneath, we've also got a uh, water tank as well. On this side, in the under tray toolbox, we've got an ARV twin compressor. This has been wired up um, with a four litre air tank as well and an outlet and a switch, all housed nicely in that toolbox. Moving on to the um, passenger side, we've got the fridge, which is the Bushman 85 litre pull-out drawer and a stainless table as well. We've wired up a custom 12 volt panel which houses the Red Arc BMS fuse box, the controller for our work lights and some more power outlets. And then we've got some lighting under the doors as well which switch between amber and white. Under the rear we've got the Marks full drive high clearance tow bar with inbuilt recovery points and genuine Toyota wiring loom. We've also wired up an Anderson plug and the Red Arc electric brake controller. We've got a Torque at three and a half inch stainless exhaust system and a Brown Davis 185 litre tank. Now to go with our two inch lift and 4200 GVM, J-Max required the load rated rims and tyres. We've got some heavy duty steel wheels and a BF Goodridge all-terrain tyre in a 33 inch diameter. For the interior on this one, we started by stripping it all out and doing our full sound deadening Dynamat package. We fitted a set of black duck seat covers, the Department of Interior centre console, the Alpine 9 inch head unit with HEMA maps and reverse camera, a set of speakers in the Cruiser console speaker pods, window tint, floor mats and a switch panel as well. In the engine bay, we fitted up some SRW intercooler and radiator screens. We've done the fuel filter and catch can. We've got some driveline breathers for the front diff, rear diff and transmission. We've got some gas bonnet struts and we've also fitted the J-Max upgraded alternator to give some additional power supply for the electronics on this vehicle. So that gives you the full rundown on this build we've just finished off. Thanks to David and Karina for choosing Jackson's 4x4 to build your dream 4x4. If you like what you're seeing guys, make sure you give the video a like, subscribe to our channel and keep your eyes peeled for the next build breakdown.